has likely heard us talk extensively about our ballot for the upcoming election, specifically about whether Robert F. Kennedy Jr. should be on it. As you know, the third party candidate fought hard to get on the ballot in states across the country, including ours. Then a couple weeks ago, he decided to drop out. He then sued our state to get off the ballot. Well, just this week, the state Supreme Court ruled his name must be taken off the ballot. It's now created a scramble for county boards of elections that have already printed millions of mail-in ballots and will now have to start over. It's such an issue the state says it might miss the deadline to send out absentee ballots. I want to focus on the cost of all this. In Guilford County, for example, the Board of Elections says it had printed 6,000 ballots and spent $15,000 doing it. Those ballots might now have to be destroyed and the money would just go down the drain. That's just one county. Millions of taxpayer dollars could be spent to take the time to take the name of a person off the ballot who tried so hard to get on the ballot. Honestly, I think the state should send the bill to Kennedy's campaign. If a candidate wants to play politics with our laws, costing us millions of your dollars, they should foot the bill.